Hi, I'm a shouty man, and this week's special at TWK is scrapers, scrapers, scrapers. Get on down for all your scraping needs. In this series of videos, I'm covering the who, what, why, when, how of sharpening just, just all the things woodworking related. And in this video, I'm covering card scrapers, cabinet scrapers, and scraper scrapers. Before we dive into how to sharpen a card scraper, what is a card scraper? This is a card scraper. It is pretty simply a piece of hardened spring steel. Unlike a chisel where you've got a nice clear bevel which defines the cutting edge, you don't have that on a piece of spring steel. But we're not sharpening a bevel onto it, we're not coming to a fine point. Instead, it has a hook on it which is basically just the burr that we normally remove from other edge tools. That burr is what does all the cutting action. So that's a card scraper. What's a cabinet scraper? Well, this is a cabinet scraper. It looks almost like a spoke shave. Uh, with a blade that's just a little bit thicker than our card scraper and it does the exact same thing but perhaps a little bit more control in some situations. It is a wider tool so you can't always get it into the same spots but a nice flat base handle so you can direct it nice and easily and because you're not holding the blade directly the extra heat from the cutting action doesn't transfer into your thumbs which is quite a nice thing. On to sharpening. First let's establish a baseline for a dull card scraper. You can see that this is just making dust rather than a nice clean shaving. The first step is to remove the previous hook. If it's brand new from the factory, you'll need to do this too. This is called jointing and is done with a file. I'm using a Veritas jig for holding the file at right angles, but you can either DIY a jig or just freehand it. Joint the faces, then the edge, just until you cannot feel the hook anymore. And it's nice and even. To create a smooth surface and remove any serrations left by the file, the edges are smoothed with a coarse 1000 grit stone. Skipping this step will work, but it will leave a much rougher finish on the workpiece. Use a block of wood to help apply pressure evenly. Repeat the process for the edge. That same block of wood can help keep it vertical. If you're using a water stone, try skewing it to wear the stone more evenly. Rinse and repeat on a polishing grit such as 5000 grit. A second baseline, a polished scraper at 90 degrees but no hook, will cut reasonably but there's still a fair bit of dust. So we have our card scraper that has been uh, cleaned of the previous burr, it's been polished so it's got a nice smooth straight edge. Now it's time to actually turn the hook on it. For this step, we really only need a couple of things. A vise is very helpful, and I'll be using my bench vise, and you'll want a burnisher. This is a burnisher that I picked up somewhere. I honestly don't know where. It's nothing special. It's a handle with a hardened steel rod of some sort. A lot of people just use a screwdriver, and that's, most of the time, perfectly acceptable. There are other options out there, like the AccuBur and other carbide rods, but they do get a little bit expensive. What you really need to look for is a material that is smooth. Generally round works better than flat, but either will work. You just don't want it to dig in. But importantly, it has to be harder material than the card scraper. I happen to have a Veritas card scraper and this is one of their super hard ones or something like that. I think they're hardened to about 45 Rockwell, whereas normally they might be about 35 Rockwell for a standard card scraper. So you just need to make sure that it's, the burnisher is harder than the card scraper and you'll be fine. The first step is to draw the metal up a bit to make the burr forming easier. So we're going to run the burnisher across the face of the card scraper. You can have a very slight angle or flat is fine. So one, two, three, four, five. Flip it over. One, two, three, four, five. Next with the card scraper and the vise, we're just going to run the burnisher over it at a 90 degree angle. And this is really just a light to medium pressure. We don't want to go too hard as it gets harder to control. And we can always do more passes rather than pushing harder to get the results that we want. Now I'm going to angle the burnisher to create the actual hook. The angle will affect how coarse the cut is. Lower angle, so five degrees, will take a finer shaving than 15 degrees. You don't really want to go anywhere past 20 degrees as it's going to be a more fragile hook and probably the wrong tool for the job at that point anyway. Start at 90, tilt just a little bit. Feel for the burr, I can feel that burr. 
flip it around, and we'll give that a test. Getting okay results, but honestly that's not that great, so I'm going to go back and work on the hook a little bit more. Alright, still a little bit of dust, but that is now shaving. And the only difference was that I did two more passes on with the burnisher. <laughs> so I just needed to form the hook a little bit stronger and then it works just fine. Now this process might not seem particularly hard because, well, it's not really, but the edges are only going to last five, ten minutes of continuous use. Now on a card scraper you do have four potential hooks. You've got top, bottom, and then the opposite sides of them. Don't use the short edges because you'll cut yourself. So you can make it last 20 minutes maybe, maybe even an hour. But then do you have to go through the whole process of stoning it, taking it to the water stones, filing off the burr, all that jazz? No, you can repair the hook or I guess reset the hook by doing the whole honing process about four or five times before the hook will become a little bit too brittle, it'll work harden, and then you'll need to go back to the stones. And to do that, you just treat it like you would if it was straight off the stones. That is to say, we'll take our burnishing rod on both sides and mushroom over the edge again and then we can finally turn that hook. And then for some reason, <laughs> the burr that I tried the second time around is actually giving me better results. And that brings us to sharpening the cabinet scraper. And the cabinet scraper process is pretty much pretty much the same actually. Uh, take the blade out. The blade is smaller and it has a bevel on either side rather than 90 degrees. So we need to sharpen that at 45 degrees. So we just go through the same process, load it into a vise. I'm using the same jig that I used before. Again, this is from Veritas. You can make your own. Uh, and it holds the file at 45 degrees. Once I can figure out how angles work. Why am I so dumb? So this may be a little bit tricky to see because the jig kind of hides things away, but we've got the fence dropping down. The file is on that 45 degree angle. And again, we're just cleaning that up. Of course, you don't actually need to use that jig. If you can hold the file at that 45 degree angle, no problem. You can just go across and clean it up that way. And just like before, we are flattening the back on the water stone. And again, you can freehand the bevel if you want or cut a 45 degree block until that whole surface is nice and shiny. Then we can turn the hook. Just like with the card scraper, now that this has been stoned on the bevel on the back, we're going to take our burnisher, go match the existing bevel, which is uh, 45 degrees. A few passes like so to draw the steel. Then we're going to drop the burnisher down a little bit. So this would be maybe 50 degrees or 5 degrees extra from what that bevel already is. And that hook has already formed and that was probably far too much pressure. We'll see how it goes. And with that sharpened, the cabinet scraper is pretty self-explanatory why it's such a fun tool. Just look at those shavings. And remember, a fancy scraper isn't required. You can turn a hook on a putty knife and get nice ribbons coming off it. You can also offend everybody by putting that putty knife in a cabinet scraper body too.